Here's how the story goes Hoping that no one knows Lend me your ears and eyes Okay, okay, okay One day I'll make her mine I'll think of her all the time I'll give her my heart and soul My soul, my soul Uh, Monday night, not Sunday night, Saturday night or even Tuesday night, it's Monday night, Monday night and of course it is a Tilt and Talk show here with you through till 9.30 this evening, sponsored by Boyle Sports, the principal sponsor of Birmingham City Football Club and of course in conjunction with our friends at SAS Autos and Bordsley Labour Club. Uh, no win for the Blues this week in the FA Cup home and away game at Coventry, it was a strange one, we'll talk about that in a bit, let's get the show on the road, strap yourselves in and get ready for the one and only Tilt and Talk show. He only got one job. One job. He's only got one job. That's to get that first bit right. And he cannot do it week in and week out. Are we wrong? Are we running? We're up and running, are we? We're up and running. Are we live now? Are we off? Okay. Um, We're off. As we do at the uh, height of every show, girls and boys, ladies and gents, we've got some sad news to bring it. We do right at the start of the show. 
and obviously a lot of you have seen the uh, very sad message on Facebook today uh, from Debbie Foster regarding her son Jake and she wrote hi hi I hope this is okay to post but at 2 3 20 this morning a beautiful son Jake passed away aged 18 due to a rare life limiting illness he was a mad mad blue nose who used to have season ticket one of his favorite things was to hear the fans singing keep right on please could some of you send us something with you all singing singing it so we have it at his funeral and we can play it words escape you sometimes mm. football comes second um and these things are never nice and i've you know met some marvelous friends through my Sassy blues uh, family um and all we can say is, Debbie, we're so very sorry from everybody here, not only at the Talk and Talk show, but I'm sure connected with Birmingham City Football Club. Mm. Roger Johnson is in the house, ladies and gents. Roger Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Roger's had a little bit of an accident today, haven't you, Roger? Would you like to tell us the accident that you've had? Yes, I got locked out of the house. Got locked out of the house <laughs> and, left his, and left his medal on the inside. So his medal mm. is not in the box. We'll find out what's in the box later. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Next time. Next time. Um, yeah, always sad, sad to you know bring bring sad news, but we do that at the, at the front of the show to show our respects to absolutely. To so so he never liked doing it, but you yeah, sometimes just have to. Sometimes mm. just have to. All right, Coventry away at home away. <laughs> um, cracking atmosphere before the ground. Got got there. Good. Uh, I got there about one o'clock actually, and uh, had a good laugh with me mate, some of that, and. Yeah, it was really proper building up outside that main stand. I haven't seen it like that since the Premier League days, obviously, mm. when you were with us, Rog. And, um, well, 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 you know, the singing, the singing in the main stand, it was like brilliant. This is what I'm going, yes, 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 this is it, this is what I want, man. So was, was Bar Eight a home or a white pub? Did you go in bar? Did you yeah, yeah, it was a home pub. Oh, so you yeah. couldn't go in bar eyes? Yes. Oh, you could go yeah, in bar. Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. the white pub? Yeah, the, the white pub, sorry, at home. You was a white fan, remember? I know. <laughs> all very confusing and it just and it just um, got to say thank you for Colin for coming in last week and giving us such a great insight into the day yes um, however I do I do hear of some disturbances in and around the ground before and afterwards and uh, one young lad I don't know whether it's football connected or not has got a fractured skull um, so I've left Colin alone today obviously to do what he, he probably needs to do either with the club and or the uh, West Midlands Police Football Unit but I will send him a message tomorrow for an update and then I'll put it on the Tilt and Talk page as and when we know um, I don't get it there's no need no, no need no. You know, just, we're just humans at the end of the day yeah or am I just too simple don't know it's one of them things that's been happening for years one of those though. things yeah, um, yeah so you, you were a game Roger I was I was due to go, yeah. uh, but I'm pleased they drew in the end because I'll, I'll come and watch the the home, <laughs> the home fixture. The home fixture. Glad you got them back to our place. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll definitely come to that one. I was due to come, and something came up. Um, so no, I, I, I did. I came the other week to the Blackburn game, so uh, oh, yeah. that yeah. might be yeah. my little thing if they can keep going in the cup. Come on. Yeah. Well, we we'll draw support. Leicester City away. Yeah. If we beat Coventry, could have been a better draw, but that's going to be a difficult one if we get through, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, we've will got be. to get through Coventry first because I tell you what, you know they played very well. Mm. That, that little winger with a, with a ponytail, man, he was zippy. He was proper zippy. He was. Um, he was dealt with. Don't get me wrong, but you, know, mm. you could see he got it. He's, he's mm. quality, quality mm. player. Clean sheet. So yeah, clean sheet as well. Clean for clean for sheet, a while. Yeah, a, a cracking yeah. camp save again. Mm. Another worldie. Mm. Um, uh, we we could have been beaten right at the end. You oh, know, it was a sitter, wasn't it? He missed. Yeah. We were quite yeah. lucky to get. Did anybody watch the great and um, most in incredible highlights on on match of the day? <laughs> yeah, when did you watch it? They had like a, a technical issue or something, didn't they? BBC sorted out. <laughs> Listen, if you want Mrs. Brown to come and work for you, if you if you want any, if you want any, if you want anybody to cock it up proper, you know, he's yeah. a man, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, waited up for a, what an hour and twenty minutes, something like that, and then only showed a little bit of the game because it, the screen went blank. Mm. Thank you. No better than Quest. That's what I'll say. Ah. There goes my uh, job opportunities for working for both of them in this foreseeable future. We've never Boom. really had good coverage on match of the day, even back in the Premier League years. No. It was always last for right. You, you, first, you, but last. You hit yeah, stops before then. Yeah. Because, because we've got onto it. I know we're only little old Birmingham City Football Club, but surely we deserve that same credence and that same respect as everybody else seems to get. Yeah. Especially the results we were getting that certainly in that first season. Yeah. Hmm. Beating well, not beating all of them, but we picked up some really good results. Yeah, uh, against all the top sides, and mm -hmm. yeah, it annoyed me to be fair. Keep 
being back end of the show. Obviously, when we drew, they're not going to show a nil nil if we. I think we drew with Chelsea. Yeah, and, I, I mean, we, mm. like I said, there we we done well against all of them. So mm. it, it did get frustrating. Mm. But we were, we were robbed against Chelsea, weren't we? We scored a goal that was onside. Yeah, and it was disallowed. That was yep. Christian Benitez, wasn't it? God bless him. Um, yeah, I don't yeah. know. How you remember this stuff? Oh my, I'm. T- Full of useless information. A sponge of a head. <laughs> <laughs> Some head as well. <laughs> well, my nickname on it is Mr. Sheen because of the light shining on it. There you go. There you go. Everybody has a nickname. <laughs> Mrs. Brown. <laughs> and uh, mine, sadly, is Mr. Floor because that's where I end up on the way days on the bus on the way back. Oh, okay. That's Down a good me. one, though. Oh, Trolled. Love it. Love you ever it. had a nickname? Uh, that you can tell us? Hmm. To, to be fair, my nickname when I first came into Birmingham was Shyness. Was? Shyness. Shyness? Shyness. Shyness, because I'd come in, me being me, just shouting the odds. I'd only just signed and I was quite confident. So I think it was a bit of a, a Mickey take, obviously calling me Shyness. It was a bit... Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Never change. What was it like <laughs> back then playing in front of a full stadium or something? Like that? Oh, that was brilliant. I used yeah. to uh, love it. Certainly getting my chance to play in the Premier League. That was the main main goal as a kid. So yeah. <clears throat> I'll always be thankful to certainly Alex McLeish and, and, and Birmingham for giving me that opportunity. So mm. yeah, it was brilliant. Loved it. Loved it. Mm. As a player, right, you're on the pitch and you're playing and, and we belt out, keep right on. When it's coming from the yeah. corner. What does that actually feel like? Do you, do you just yeah, absorb it in and just soak it in or what? I mean, that, that, the second season more so was obviously we had the cup run. Yeah. Mm. Um, I think I'll never forget that West Ham well, game. What a nice. Never. The, the atmosphere was, was right just... right behind the goal there um, uh, at the tilt end, right behind the goal. And uh, you know what, boom, what a day, what a moment. Yeah. What a moment. No, that's <laughs> to, to that's those, up there for the, me. That, with... that one song, E.I. Adio. <laughs> No, but it's at Wembley, Wembley, we're going to Wembley. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was like, this is it. Well, when Colton Cole scored, I thought, you know. Yeah, oh, trouble. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But trouble, but. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Ziggich come on in the second half. Mm. And I think they that might, made. You that, might that, be right. Yeah. And I think they struggled with him a bit. They didn't know how to play him. Mm. And obviously, we got the, the goal from Bowie, didn't we, off the corner? Yeah, that was our sh- screamer. Right, and then obviously, was. your header, which was great as well. And then obviously, Craig, third time lucky when mm. he hit the post twice. Yeah, a it? couple of before it, didn't Yeah. It? Your mate's texting well, me, Ian. What? Oh, okay. What do you want, Ian? <laughs> I'm, wor- I'm working. <laughs> um, uh, Roger's been given a cup of tea. He was actually asked if he wanted a cup of tea, didn't he? Yeah, got a cup of tea. Got a cup of tea. Got a cup of tea. There you go. I've been invited to the uh, the Cov game in a box. Oh, Thanks, God, Thanks God, Ian. Oh, back. okay. There you and, go. And we've got, apparently, homemade lemon and lime drizzle cake. So mm. Very nice. Very welcome to some of that. I shall in a bit. When he, when he makes oh, me my okay. second cup of tea, Chris I'll have... good lady wife. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that West Ham semi-final was just an amazing night. Yeah, wasn't that, it? for atmosphere, that's the best I think. And the, the Villa game <clears throat> in the quarters was, yeah. was obviously good. Yeah, got a bit naughty. Uh, yeah, yeah, shame about all that. Yeah. But it is what it is. My, yeah. kids, my kids were with me. They were going to run on the pitch, and my God, did they hear my voice? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said, just don't, just don't. Nah, yeah. sometimes don't, it's not don't. worth it. But and I, when I was saying, just don't, mm. right, and they yeah. didn't. But yeah, well done to them. No good times, good memories. Yeah, and then my son Luke, um, who suffers intolerably with a with a cold, he gets that um, um, white finger syndrome. I can't remember what it's called. Um, where your fingers just go pure. Yeah, he stood in the queue for fourteen and a half hours to get our tickets. Wow, really? fourteen and a half hours outside St Andrews to get our tickets. That's wow. a proper fan. Because they th- th- they actually made the tickets the sale for the tickets on the same go- day as a home game. Do you remember, we played Stoke at home. I think they're probably um, trying to be, do a clever one, trying to get but, but, the stands full for the home, for the home but, fixture. But maybe. so many people missed the first half because they were still queuing for the tickets. Yeah. <laughs> that was the problem. Mm. So, yeah, I remember that as well. Yeah, no, 14 and a half hours. Well done, Luke. I'll never forget that. Yeah, well played. I'll forget that. Top, mm. man. Played. Top man. And then the other son used to they would, would visit the football ground and take him cups of tea and all that. Yeah. yeah. 14 and a half hours in the queue. So talk us through the day of the final then. So did you stay over in London well, actually, the night actually, before? Talk us through the Villa game, the West Ham game. And oh yeah, okay, and then the final. Yeah, there were three iconic yeah. games. So yeah, did, you, did I mean, you do much after we beat Villa? Was it was celebrations or was yeah, it kind of like... Yeah, a few of us went out into, yeah. so, into Solio what actually. Was, what was Solio, yeah. like? did, you, did you manage to... What was what like, sorry? With their dressing room like? Well, did you manage to poke your head in? Didn't even hear. We, obviously we have to walk past theirs to get to ours. Right, okay. Um, 
But nah, we were just too buzzing, mm. so loud. Yeah. Um, yeah, just certainly being them lot down the road, it was just, it was more special. And them lot down the road, all of it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it just made it more, yeah, more brilliant, if mm. that's even a sentence. But just, it was, yeah, to get through. And then, like we said there, the, the West Ham game will just live with me forever. It was so up and down. First, though, cause it, was, it was over two legs, wasn't it? That yeah, way? it was over two. Yeah. Um, the home fixture, but mm. yeah, it was all right after. I mean, the, the away fixture, yeah, it was a bit was of a nothing two, game, one, really. At West Ham, was it? Mm. Two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when yeah. Coley scored, he's a mate of mine, Coley, and yeah. uh, good player, wasn't he? Good player. Mm. I thought, oh no, surely mm. not. I just think the the highs and lows of the whole second uh, second leg to mm. think, Christ, we're out here. Mm. Some goal as well, wasn't it? Yeah, brilliant goal. Great Slo- strike. Sloppy from us. Oh, it? Mm. it was from the throw in, wasn't it? And he's yeah. just easily turned inside. Can you see the goosebumps in my arms, look. Yeah, yes, I can. That's because it's freezing in there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing to do with it, believe me. <laughs> I get them every week. <laughs> nah, when Coley scored, I thought, oh, no, that could be dream over. Mm. And then got in at half time. And I think we just knew we had we had certain players, myself, Kari, Bose, Fergie, uh, Alex, McLeish. I just think we. What did he say to you at half time? We don't talk a lot about word for word. I can't. I can't put my finger on it word for word, but something along the lines of, "Look, we've come this far, and you're just throwing it away." And uh, I don't think we played that badly. It was just there was no atmosphere from us, not not the fans. And Mm. obviously, when when they scored, the fans kind of lower, get get lower, and it was just a weird feeling. And then second half, we we were non-stop, Mm. Mm. unbelievable performance. Second half, all, all half, yeah. And there were some really good standout performances in that in that second half, and I just think like the names I just mentioned there, I think they they got us through that second half, if you mm. know what I mean. Mm. Um, and to come out uh, victorious at the end of that, being three one down, mm. forty five minutes to turn it around, just it don't get no better than that. To take yourself to the final as well, it's just amazing. <sighs> what part do we as fans play in that? A lot. I just said to you before we got on air there that that's for atmosphere. That's the, probably the best by the final, um, but the best atmosphere and for noise I've probably ever played in. Mm. Yeah, I played a massive part. Certainly second and second half because, like I said, there it was it was it was just falling away from us and it was it was dull in the first half and the fans obviously would think we're going out and a few players probably dropped their heads, but no that that. Half time interval, we just got 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 about each other. The manager said his bit, mm. and then like I said, there we had forty five minutes, and we were just on it. <clears throat> We'd have beat anyone that day, absolutely on it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the, the crowd they, they got us through. They saw that we were up for it, which lifts them. And then just the, after every golden noise was just oh, was unbelievable, immense, immense. Yeah, I loved it. Loved I actually it. went a bit light heady when you scored because you got us back to three three on aggregate, didn't you? That was it. Yeah, it took and I remember, extra time, I, didn't it? Yeah, you know when you just like you, yeah, you're that happy and you're like going that mad. I just remember standing in, sitting in my seat, like after I'd sat down after yeah. you scored, I just went, "Whoa!" <laughs> yeah, so, bit, as soon uh, as Bo scored, I, I knew. I thought, right, we're on it. Yeah. We're yeah. At, well, yeah. Just yeah, just you pray for a corner, just land on your head. Yeah, must have been some feeling there when you scored that header. Yeah. It's cut. It's a week to tomorrow. Uh, a week tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. What am I on about? Uh, <laughs> Ten, was it nine, nine, year, years, nine years? Nine years tomorrow. 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 Yeah, I'm going to chuck something on my Instagram because I've got the video of the goal. I just put a little nine years ago today. Yeah, it's yeah. tomorrow the second leg in that with a semi final. Oh, okay. So. God, time flies. It does. Where's it gone? An anniversary. Though. What an anniversary. Yeah. What a memory. Thank you. Superb memory. Yeah. Superb. Thank you for having me there. Oh mate, I tell you, I loved every minute. Yeah. Where do we go from so, there? It's, well, the final. The final. The final, yeah. The build-up. So talk us through like what the squad did, say, the day before. Do you all link up the day before and travel to... Yeah, we travel. We travel down the uh, night before, yeah. stayed stay in the hotel. Are you feeling then nervous? or? Yeah I, yeah, I didn't really get nervous. I got anxious. Yeah. I just wanted it yeah. now. I, yeah. I, I hate waiting yeah. for games. Impatient, I'm just yeah. very impatient. Mm. And then you get a bit anxious and you're r- running through scenarios. Yeah. And some some players struggle to deal with that. Yeah, I was I okay. I was just more. I don't know. It was a, such a weird feeling. Mm. It's hard to explain. But anxious is probably the best word I can use for me personally. I just mm. I wanted to get on the pitch. Yeah, get going. Just all the the hours and build up waiting. I just wanted to get out there and mm. and get just get it get it get it going and get the job done. So where did you stay? Do you know what? 
I've actually for, was it Chelsea Arbor? I think we stayed in the Chelsea Arbor. Okay. Uh, but yeah, good. Me and yeah. me, me and me Rumi, we stayed. Me, I was Rumi with and uh, with Fergie. Yeah. What was, was that wall of noise like when when you walked through that tunnel? Because from from the yeah, I mean, I was coming out, I was just in the corner. As you as you walked out, I was in the corner on your left hand side, pretty much up to the top. Okay. And it was like, what is going on in front of me? Here? Yeah, I, I, fl- I find myself flicking. I I, I don't mm. mind watching a YouTube video, and I, fl- I fl- find myself flicking, and it always comes up because I've searched it before. It, it just it's, it's, yeah. it's on like a feed, and it must remind yeah. YouTube that I, I search for Birmingham. Um, games, so uh, yeah, it comes up now and then, and I'm, I always flick on it just, just to watch I'm it. I'm forever watching it. Yeah, so you're thinking you, you're standing in the tunnel now. You're about to walk out. You have got Arsenal's players next to you. Yeah. What's going through your mind then? Are you just like just fully, just focused fully focused? And, just yeah. yeah. I don't. I, I'm not that sort of guy. I'm not. I don't interact with no one. I just no. keep keep my head obviously yeah. away from the team, the other yeah. team. I've got no interest. Yeah. Um, and just getting getting in behind our boys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, shouting what, what I'd normally shout, um, yeah. but we know it's one of the, it's, it's a one-off. Yeah. Oh yeah, we mentioned it earlier. I thought my FA uh, my cups were were done after the FA Cup in mm. uh, in two thousand and eight, the, mm. the uh, FA Cup, and to get another opportunity to go back to a a big final, mm. I weren't letting this one slip. It was my first time at the New Wembley. Was it? Yeah, first time at the New Wembley. I'd yeah. done the Millennium, mm. for the um, Norwich game. Mm. And the two Wembley appearances before that. Yeah. Um, and when you look at that, that up the road, you know we've been there, done it four times. Yeah. Done it. Okay, we got we got beat against that. We did the Liverpool as well. As well. We got yeah. Dropped. Yeah. That was um, at the so that's five times. Yeah. Yeah. Five times at Wembley. Yeah. Well, one thing yeah. sticks with me in that final as well when Bowie went through and he was clearly onside. Yeah. And he's brought down. It's a clear penalty. The, ref- the goalkeeper should have got a red card, and they give offside. And he was like onside by about the width of his table, mm-hmm. wasn't it? Um, no so VAR, unfortunately. We would have been moaning about that if we hadn't gone on to win it. I always thought, yeah, but that's the thing. I was people always ask me that, and oh, we were unlucky. I was, should have gone down to ten. And I'm glad it stayed exactly so the way it, was, it did. Yeah, because yeah. it might have changed the, yeah, the format changed of the game. Yeah. So I'm glad everything yeah. was, was what it was. Yeah. So there we are then. Okay. Um, one nil to the Blues. Yeah, Zigic. And then uh, one one to Arsenal. What's that feeling like then? You 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 won a lot for a, a, a good portion of the game. So you won the first flick on the yeah from yeah. The I corner. won the header and then Ziggy flicked it. Yeah yeah. Who did you beat in the air? Can you remember? Yes, it was. Because um, I can't. <laughs> come back to me. Yeah, right, it'll, it'll come. Yeah. Uh, it would have been Kashelny. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Kashelny. Kashelny. And then Ziggy's just. So there we are. One, 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 one. What's, that, what's that feeling like? It was annoying. It was against the run of play. Yeah. And the gaffer actually had a go at me. If you, about a minute before that, mm. I think we'd had a free kick and it, and it, it had gone too big. And then I'd run out mm. to go and get it from the byline. And they, they'd flicked it and it was going out for a throw. And I kept it in. Mm-hmm. Made a pass. And then another pass got made and we give it away. So mm. we were sort of. Everyone was sprinting back. Um. Because it was he was probably right, the gaffer, to be fair. Um, but I had lo- so much time, and I just thought, well, we'll keep them up here rather than just getting at half time. I agree. Mm. Now looking after it afterwards, I, I kind of agree. Should have probably just killed the half, and mm. but no, they ended up bloody scoring from that, didn't they? Mm. So because mm. uh, Will yeah. showed the crossbar, didn't he, just before? Yeah, yeah that was it. And then our Sharvin's gone down the right, hasn't he, and cut it back, and then Van Persie's just yeah, poor header, for, poor header from Fergie. I think he he edited it when it rattled mm. the bar. Mm. And he sort of flicked it straight straight mm. down to them, and mm. yeah, I'll give him a bit of a roasting for that better header. But um, yeah, it was a weird one because I didn't think they deserved to sort of go in it. No, uh, no, uh, no, we were one by the team. Having, having said that, they didn't win it, so uh, no, that's, that's yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, I have arguments with loads of people. They say, oh. Well, how did you beat him? I said, oh, hang about. Mm. I've watched it back, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a deluded always. person. No, no, no. no. if it was a snatch and grab, I'd say that. Yeah. But no, I, th- I think we fully deserve to win it. Yeah. Mm. Fully deserve to win the Spot West Ham game. Fully deserve to win the Villa game. Well, over yeah. two fully legs, yeah. To win in the final. final. Yeah. The final, I, I believe we, we were, not going to say by far the better team, but no, we, but we deserve to win that game. Yeah. Then Obafemi puts that ball in off the goalkeeper. <laughs> we never get looked like that. No. We, you know, we're Birmingham City, we don't... We don't I was waiting for it to be green. disallowed because I just went numb. Yeah. And I was sure waiting for the ref to signal for a foul on the keeper. Anything, I was just like, that don't happen to us, like you say, and 
Yeah, weird. So weird, it was, weird it was like an out of body experience in the stands. Was it on the field? It as well? was. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, I'll love Chesney and Koscielny for the rest of my life. <laughs> but what a feeling. Oh, who battered him on the head? Fergie. Fergie, Fergie. Fergie. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. No, weird feeling. It's hard to explain. Really hard yeah, to explain. Bet, yeah. um, don't know. And then what about holding on for the last few minutes? That's perfect. Right up my street, that. Yeah. <laughs> they, they wouldn't have scored yeah. in a month for Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, it was yeah back to the wall a little bit, but it's, it's going to be yeah. like that. We, we're we're defending the the two one lead, mm. um, but like I said, I, they wouldn't have scored. No way. Final was your reaction? Just I didn't know I'll what to do. What I was, was I, I mean I pulled my calf as well, so I, I was just sprinting around like a lunatic. I didn't know where <laughs> to go, what to do. Uh, just hugging each other. It was. Yeah. So it's so hard to explain. Really, really, really hard. And what happens after that? You've obviously lift the trophy, unbelievable celebrations, and then once you walk down that tunnel after, after you've obviously done the lap of honour and everything. Yeah. It was a good hour and a half, wasn't it? After it happened. Yeah. We, we, before you went away from us. We made then, sure we. we ex- like I said, you, you're never going. You've got. To, yeah. Like I said also, earlier, I, I didn't think I'd ever get back to one. Right. That final. So that final whistle went. I sobbed. I yeah. Ain't joking, yeah. yeah. I yeah. sobbed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 58 years old now, so I was what 49 then. Yeah, and I sobbed, and my I two sons were with me. Yeah, my three sons were with me, Scott, Luke, and Adam. Sorry. Yeah, and I said, just watch what is going on in front of you. You may never see this yeah. again. It's unbelievable, life, wasn't it? Low mind. Yeah. Just yeah. take Embrace every it. minute of this in. Yeah, every single second. Yeah, it. and the goosebumps are really yeah. good. They're back. Yeah, Great feeling. Again, Great yeah, feeling. Beautiful. Beautiful moment. Yeah. I'm glad we could share it together. It yeah, just, it was superb. It was amazing. Superb. So what, where did you I go after? I stopped smiling. I just ain't stopped smiling for this lot. What, what, <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, it's great. Where yeah. did you go after then? After the after we you know, just won was, the league cup. It was a bit poor, to be honest. Was it? Because <laughs> we, we had the Chinese owners. That, there was nothing organised. Yeah. Really? Which it was, was, that, was, all, it? was absolutely it was embarrassing. Right. Because uh, I go I go back to the, my other experience with Cardiff. Yeah. Win or or lose, there was a a gig back at the hotel where we yeah. stayed. Uh, all the families yeah. and, and uh, people's kids, yeah. and obviously we lost. We we, we made a good night of it, mm. um, and then we had even had an, an open top bus when we got back. Uh, not an open top bus. We had a something on Cardiff Bay for mm. fans to come, and they came in their thousands. <clears throat> so I was surprised being at a Premier League club. Yeah. Mm. Disgusting. It, it was it was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Like, absolutely awful. And I thought, how poor, and it was poor from the lads. To be fair, we had me. There was about six of us that. Went out into London. Um, all the others just some of them got back on the bus. Mm. Some went off for a meal with their families. Mm. But the heart of that team, I, I probably mm. don't even have to name the names. Um, no, who who was there? It, I just thought it was poor because yeah. that is it's hell of an achievement. Hell of an yeah, achievement massive. for us as fans. It was just huge. And to not have the ground, I think that was embarrassing, wasn't it? Yeah. But the ground after, on the yeah. Yeah, I know. I was it disappointed because it? It, really? it was it was so. Because obviously my family came and my friends came, and I met up with them after. I was lucky. My agent's offices were opposite at Wembley hmm. and literally over the road, so yeah. I only had to go in there. And they all went in there, and yeah. obviously I had to say bye to them immediately because we, we we were doing our thing, the lads. And I just said, look, hmm. I, I wish there was something, but there ain't. Hmm. So me, my mum, my brothers, um, it was it was awful. Hmm. Um, Mm. So yeah, it was a bit of an anti-climax. The after bit, we made a good night out of it ourselves. The, yeah, the lads yeah. that went, yeah. But something like that is so special. Mm. You, you should share that, yeah, definitely with, with your with your loved ones and let a few punters in and we'll, and just have a laugh. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It was just mm. well, I live pretty much up by Alton Towers, right? Um, so I got the train back into Moore Street, yeah. And went over to New Street. I'm still buzzing. I'm still like yeah. the head spinning. I just, just, just what has just happened? Has it really just happened? I'm, I, I, you know, almost yeah. expecting myself to wake up and say, "Oh, you were dreaming that one, mate." And mm. I got um, and got uh, got to New Street. No trains back to my hometown whatsoever. So I'm now stuck in Brom. Uh, so I hitched a lift to Rudeley on a on a Virgin a Virgin train. Um, and got off at Rugeley and got picked up there and, and then got home about what three o'clock in the morning something like that must yeah, have been. yeah good well, effort yeah. well I was on pretty strong antibiotics for a virus and I couldn't I couldn't drink ah you should have so, so I ended up driving that's a myth that. I know, I know. that's an absolute myth <laughs> so I, I ended I've up always driving. had a beer we, on we, we, went, we were outside the Lidl uh, at Wembley there's a Lidl and a McDonald's pretty close to each other so I went to the McDonald's got four coffees one for each of the boys popped into Lidl got a bottle of malt whiskey blah 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 blah, blah, blah. yeah 
just sitting on the street drinking it and it's peeing down and there's a copper next to me and he's looking down looking down thinking I'm going to get done here for drinking on the street do you remember the rain on the day yeah, was yeah. That, mm. it, it was, was cold belting it down and uh, he said uh, looks a nice drop I said I'll swap you some for your hat <laughs> 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 he wouldn't do it he wouldn't do it yeah great day but yeah thank you because that, that that feeling of absolute euphoria still hasn't yeah. gone away it's still no, I still have people come up to me I, now I struggle to remember mm. some stuff I always have done but you know there are certain things that will always stick out in your life and, yeah. and lifting yeah. that trophy at that moment was mm. was one of the best mm. ever mm. one of the best ever beautiful yeah, great brilliant feeling. moments yeah okay so we've drawn potentially Leicester away then in the next round of the cup obviously we've got to get uh, get rid of Coventry yeah. at home yeah yeah, well, we can go there and so get. We, we, there's no, there's no confusion there. The away allocation will be the away allocation. That's <laughs> it. We're back in our own dressing room. That's it. Yeah. Um, that will probably be a week on Tuesday. It is a week on what, Tuesday. Is, is that being confirmed now? Is it? Yeah, it's on the fourth of Feb. The cool. replay, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm yeah. working that night. Yeah. I'm. I know. I'm up in the northeast, so I can't go I'm, either. I'm working that night at the moment. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Well, obviously, let's get rid of Coventry. Hopefully, we can. We can, you know, get get to the. Yeah, get, it was. Get, I think we struggled that year, didn't we? Did we, did we go to penalties against somebody in that cup run? In the yeah, um, Stoke. No. no, 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 in the in the league cup run. Oh, the league cup run. Big pun. Who oh, was it? I can't remember. Was it Berry or something? I'm just rude to say that. Was it, was, Rochdale. Was it, was it, was it, it was someone like that. Someone like that. Like Berry or Rochdale. Someone will know. Yeah, I can't remember. It wasn't Crawley, was it? Yeah, my point is that they're not always easy ties. No, no, no. That was at home, wasn't it? Was that in the third round or something? We we played. Pretty good in that first half. Yeah, we we didn't score. Okay, we didn't no, score no, the first half. And I yeah. thought, deja vu. Here we go again. Yeah, is it going to be a game of two halves? And yes, it was. Coventry came at us more in the second half, mm. um, and and we could have easily lost it in the last minute of the game. Mm. You know. Yeah, but we're still there. Mm. Right, mm. we go again, and um, I don't get what people were booing for at the end. I don't get it. No. I don't get it. That's, no. that's my team, you know what I mean? Mm. I'm mm. here no matter what, win, lose or draw, no matter what. Doesn't do the players any favour, surely, does no, it? I've never field? been a fan of the booing one, to be honest. No. Um, there was a lot of it as well. I get it if it's an ongoing thing and, and you can see the lads aren't trying. Yeah. But then if that's if that's the case and the lads it's aren't trying... trying. Then, Coventry are a pretty good outfit, you know. They're a pretty yeah, decent heard, side, yeah. especially at home. Away, at home. Well, they've got a better record at St Andrews <laughs> than what we have, haven't they, yeah. at the moment? Yeah, very much so. <laughs> but that's obviously in League One. Interjection. Uh, Brentford, 1-1. One, one. Brentford, 1-1. One, one. Mm. OK, is there it Brentford, go. yeah? Yeah, we're on penalties. Mm. OK, thanks for that. I remember. If anything comes upon the box, Mr. Let's know why. Yeah, you take a penalty? Like, I didn't play, he rested. Oh, yeah. rested. He rested a few of the lads for that one. Mm. Yeah. Um, so no, I wasn't even in, in the squad. No. Specifically? There's been loads. All right, can you there will there? be, yeah. Have a, have a gander if you could, mister. Um, so... Yeah, so we've got the home fixture now against Coventry, week on Tuesday. Um, but before that, obviously, we've got to get past uh, Nottingham Forest on Saturday. So do we think we'll get a similar sort of attendance for the replay? No. or No. 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 Just l- literally because it was such a one-off occasion. They, sh- they should do That's, kids for quid. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, and, and £10 for adults. Hmm. How did they treat you as the away team, Coventry? Did you get a good allocation or was it... 9,260. The biggest allocation for any FA Cup... Uh, away game at home <laughs> ever in that round yeah in the history of the competition I think ok well at least they give you and they weren't it's 50 stupid about the main it. stand and the, and, the, and the GM home area the away section was shut the first section section 39 yeah. on the on the cot was shut and the first two or three sections in the tilt were, were, were closed off mm. but all in all you know it's 21 well, just under 22,000 there for an FA Cup game mm. well, no complaints to be fair no uh, I noticed they've like stolen our song as well, Mr. Blue Sky. As they were coming been, out, they've been coming out to Mr. Blue Sky for many years. For years, have they? I yeah, didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. No, I didn't. Many never years. noticed. I think I've been to Coventry away before. I never noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, normally, no, no. normally. No. Um, but you know, it was a, an occasion. It was a unique occasion. So I said, I said to me, I was glad he, he, he struggled because he got a barber shop in Derby, and um, he met me there. He got the train in, so he didn't get there till like five past three. Mm. Five, six, six minutes past three, something like that. So he missed, he missed that nice build up. It would have been nice for him to see that. Mm. Um, but the atmosphere was pretty good all through the game. It was uh, quite noisy, mm. Mm. and um, we look, we've got to do it again. We've got to do it again. Mm. You know, we've got to go and be ruthless and not come to the cup. That's it. That's mm. all we've got to be. 
Oh. So we, might as, we might as well have a go, might we? We're not going up, we're not going down. So we might as well try, you know, let's have a good go at the cup and see how far we can get. Don't, That's it. Why not? Don't, That's don't, it. Don't say we're not going down, don't say we're not going up until such time as it's mathematically impossible. Either way. Because if we win every single game from now to the end, we'll probably be in the playoffs just. Okay. Right, but it you know, probably won't happen. But you never know, do you? you don't know. Know. I hope I'm wrong. I, I hope you're playing this back to me in a few months saying, Paul, remember when you said that? You bet sacked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll suck you. Okay, We're in the Premier League now. What was you on about? Yeah, hopefully I'm wrong. So the heady heights from the Premier League, from the full stadiums to what we've got now. Now, yeah. I can tell you, um, from, rough from my year. perspective, right, I, I love the Championship, right? Yeah. Mm. Yes, of course, the, the promised land is there and it's always above you. But I, I, I love the games in the Championship. They come thick, they come fast. You don't know, yeah. you know, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And um, the Premier League was a little bit more, I don't know, a bit more... Sterile for a supporter, I think. Mm. It's one of them, isn't it? I, I, I totally agree with you. I, whereas, the I, whereas I remember St Andrews back in the day, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, be- before it was rebuilt or anything. For so. me, the Championship is is I've done countless things about it. It's one of the hardest leagues yeah. in the world, if yeah. not the hardest. Yeah. Um, but then there's got to be a goal at the end of it, and that is the, the Premier League. Yes. I'm afraid. Mm. And yeah. No, I'd chase it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'd, I'd take it. But I, what I'm saying is, I love, I love the feeling of, of the, you know, the, the ground you go to and mm. the, the different people mm. you meet, one thing or another. Yeah. Mm. So I quite, uh, quite like travelling around and, and making a day of it. Mm. Yeah. A proper day of mm. it. Yeah. The only thing with the Premier League that was annoying for me. Once you'd lost, I, that's where I like the Championship. You, you lose Saturday. You've got Tuesday to yeah. put it right. Yeah. yeah. The Premier League, you get you thumped. Two weeks. Yeah. You're it's just a like a week, or, and then yeah. you just you want to get out there and, and just yeah. get fix it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah. how I am as a person. I yeah. want to I want to gain yeah. like in an hour just so we mm. can fix it. Like, yeah. Rather than dealing with that f- torture for a week. Mm. Winning mentality then. Yeah, very and everything I do everything. really. Yeah. Because yeah. you were in a good thirteen. Was it thirteen games unbeaten? Mm, it was a re- the record, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. For, for Birmingham, so yeah, yeah, that was another nice thing that, that mm. happened. Another. Thing in in Birmingham's oh, history, that was ninth in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, oh, no. what's going on? <laughs> yeah, this is Norse. Cameron was but top scorer. Ultimately, uh, ultimately, well, what we do tend to do as a football club is uh, is crash, and uh, yeah. we crashed at the end of that Carling Cup season. Mm. Uh, down down a division we went. Yeah, it hurt. Um, mm. Picked ourselves up. We're going again. You know, mm. yeah. we, we've not we've not really got over it still. No, it was a shame how it ended. To be fair, mm. really, and I've had a fair bit of stick about it actually. Um, and I've done various things about it, and I did uh, one at the Borsley Labour mm. uh, a few few weeks ago. Um, and I wasn't sure how I was going to get it, sort of accepted there, to be honest, because I have had a bit of heat from from leaving. I know that I went to Wolves and stuff like that, but people don't know the 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 actual story behind it. I was asked to leave. I didn't mm. want to leave. Clearly, I, I wanted to stay in the Premier League, and I'd expect people to understand that. Yeah. Um, but the Chinese, I've said it on countless occasions, they, they, they ruined that football club. They certainly did. Mm. They ruined it. Um, because we had the basis of, of a good team. If we'd have just stayed up that second season, mm. and I'll never I'll never forget, uh, we, I think we needed a point from six games and we lost all six. So it's just, mm. it was a hard pill to swallow. Mm. Um, if we'd have just stayed up and win the cup, that was hell of a season for, well, yeah. for, for, for us. Mm. Um, but just back to the, of me leaving, it, it wasn't, jumping ship at all it was one I got asked to leave because I knew they wanted the money mm. and I was one of 12 that left that mm. season yes I was the only one that went to a, a so called rival was in, a, in a Midlands club but I wasn't the only one that left no. um, and I, I'm going back there uh, for, for Wolves and, and other teams um, yeah I was a bit annoyed with the uh, bit disappointed and mm. in, in the reaction I got so going down injured and fans are singing let him die and stuff like that and mm. just thought hang about hang about yeah. it was uh, disappointing because obviously I'm a big part to play in, in, in the history of the club obviously winning, yeah. winning a, a competition as big as the, the League Cup mm. yeah I was, I was upset to be fair mm. um, been coming back but Swings and roundabouts. I get loads of nice people coming up to me and say, "Look, I've, you give us the best day of my life." Without mm. a doubt, you did. So yeah, without yeah. a doubt. Well, mm. Boom! That proves it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you only have to think about it. That's all. That's all. Yeah, right. Okay. Some quick, quite quick, quick fire question has just come in. Uh, do you still have your shirts? I do have them. Yeah. Do you, okay. Would you sell them? <laughs> <sighs> Ooh. Do you know? I actually gave one away um, the other day. Actually, um, 
a, a guy, a gentleman I know who's a mad Birmingham fan, passed away, oh, and they wanted to auction it for his wife to just um, uh, help out with the funeral costs and stuff. It's quite damn lazy, you know, don't you? <laughs> so yeah, Scott I Dan's have got a cut one. I do keep my shirts though. Yes. Are you still in touch with Scott Dan? Every now and then, yeah. Best yeah. part of your defensive we've had at St Andrews in my lifetime. Yep. Yeah. Now we 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 we, we we've complemented each other. What do you think well. of Arlie Dean? Yeah, he's a bit up and down. I, I, I like him as a player. Um, <laughs> he gets his goals, but just needs a season where he's bang on it. Mm. Who would you have liked to have played with? Out of the current team, or just in general? Who would you like to have played with, yeah? Um, let's go for the current team. Hmm. I'd like to get around that Jude Bellingham, I would, because mm, yeah. he's young. It's quality, just, I don't know, give him a bit Brilliant. of guidance. What, what was the last four minutes of the cup final? Like? We pretty much covered that. Yeah, we covered mm. it, just backs to the wall, and just perfect for me, right on my street. <laughs> just, you ain't getting through. <laughs> uh, how hard was it to move from Blues? Very, 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 very hard. Yeah. I just half explained it there. But if Chucho had stayed, do you think we would have stayed up? Um, maybe it's one of them. I, I don't it know. I just, just yeah. Panic, can you? Uh, if you were given the chance to come back to Blues, would you? Yes. Yes. Simple answer. Simple answer. There you yes. go. You're hearing it right from the not the horse, but the horse's mouth. <laughs> yeah. um, were you forced out? Yes. There you go. Mm. You've heard it fresh. Mm. You yeah, did you know a lot about the club before you signed? Did you watch much of us? Uh, well, you obviously played against us, didn't you? A fair few times, I'd imagine, for Cardiff. And well, yeah, because obviously you, yeah. you went up that season, didn't you? So yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd played against. Um, I, I liked just how, how Alex McLeish dealt with it mm. in getting me to the club. Yeah, um, had a chat with him, mm. ex centre half, Scottish. Yeah, and I just thought, yeah, it was a no-brainer being mm. in the Premier League. Was yeah. anyone else after you as well? There was you, a couple. You have a few options, yeah. It's just it, as soon as the Premier League gets said, yeah, it doesn't matter who it is, yeah, I, I'm I'm going. Mm. And for a club, a huge club like Birmingham, it just worked yeah. perfectly. Yeah, perfectly. Yeah. Uh, Alan Longstaff wants to know what guidance you would give to Jude. I just think through. I mean, I've had a twenty-year career, so I, I, I've learned loads along the way. Um, if I saw him doing things that I did that I that didn't help me I'll just give him a, bit, a tiny bit of guidance on how to sort of behave on and off the pitch yeah but from your peers as well and, and respecting the older players opinion um, I'd probably just give advice where I, I went wrong as a player right mm. um, look he's, I can't help him with his <laughs> his his football because he, he's got his own gift and mm. um, but no if, if he wanted to work on something after training I'd go. I'd, I'd say, look, come on, you. Let's let's do another. Want, yeah. mm. Let's do another twenty minutes. Okay, mm. Mick Greaves, What team do you support? I'm a huge, huge Chelsea fan. Chelsea, Chelsea. But no, I I went and watched them when they were garbage. Mm. I had a uh, season ticket for ten years. I'm talking like in the uh, Kerry Dixon and Speedy and Kem, Kem Moncow and Robert Fleck, Robert John Fleck. Spencer, Eddie Newton, David All. He went on to play for us, Eddie Newton. Yeah, Chelsea, Luch, yeah. Why is he scored? The, scored in the um, cup final, didn't they? He did. Yeah. Against uh, Manu, can you be our next manager? Middlesbrough. Say again. Can you be our next manager? Well, I'm on the I'm on the path um, now. Mm. I've, I've just, I'm just about to pass my A license in the uh, in in May. Is that the one that and gives that you is, the opportunity to then go and manage teams? Yeah. You can manage with what I've got already with the right, B. Mm. Um, I just want to tick. I've, I've been doing them now for Fixing about boxes, six, yeah. seven years. Yeah. Knowing that. For me personally, I need to stay in the game. Mm. For, for my mental sake, I love I love football, and mm. I wouldn't want to do anything else. And it's just a, a good fit for me uh, to just carry on. And like I said earlier, I've had a fairly decent career. Played a lot, a lot of games. Mm. Had a lot of good experience, a lot of bad experience. Mm. And yeah, I, I, I do enjoy it. I love it. And mm. so that is the next step for me. Okay, cool. There Best you go. With it. Um, you say you were forced out by the Chinese. Was their excuse wages uh, surely you'd took a wage drop to stay but guessing that wasn't on the table from Adam Wilkes there was no there was, wasn't even an offer wasn't even a com a not even a conversation you're going, and that's it. You're going. Right. Mm. no conversation no new deal because I, well, I signed three years so I'd done two of them yeah I, I would have even though we went down I would have expected another contract mm. um, just to show their faith in me mm. and there, was, there wasn't even a discussion it was Look, we want it. We we need this money. Um, 
didn't even have the decency to come and, and, and speak to me. It was all done through through agents and mm. and so be. Um, and it was just it was one of them. It was a sad, sad, very sad time because, mm. like I said earlier, Birmingham gave me my chance mm. in in the Premier League, and mm. I I feel as though I paid the club with everything I had. I yeah, tried was, every play well generous. played every game. Yeah. In, in the league and I give my all every single oh, game absolutely. so more questions coming in any ideas Roger what possessed Big Ek to join the Vile from yeah <laughs> it was a strange one I'd, I've seen him since I texted him at the time I was like Christ you're brave he came back to Blues when he was managing uh, Nottingham Forest yeah and I've never ever known a man get 90 minutes of dog abuse yeah he was full on it was full on yeah it's they a cleared, weird one cleared the area of, of seats the only the thing I, I know I know it's a, obviously the the rival the only thing I can say is, if, if, oh, I totally, is. I totally get it, yeah, yeah. totally get it. Um, but then I, all, all I can sort of compare it with is, is if there's in people's say like yourselves, I, I don't mm. know what you do for jobs or mm. anyone, any football fan, and, mm. and an opportunity comes up and there's nothing else. Yeah, it's, it's a job at the end of the day. I know the fans. Yeah, look, Mourinho going to going to Tottenham as a Chelsea mm. fan. And, yeah. And I used to love him, and I'm, mm. I'm thinking, oh, he's a miserable mm. kitten. He? Yeah, he's changed too he's too much for me. He was he was brilliant when he first come, but on an interview, can't stand it. I think his football's been a bit found out, hasn't it? Anyway, um, yeah, it's a bit keep, keep on with the questions. Well, when when you were going to a new club, for instance, Blues, uh, if anything, due diligence, want of a better expression, could you do personally, or would you get your agent to do it? Um, well, I, I spoke to McLeish, and that was enough for me. That was mm. enough. That was enough. Sold it, just, sold it to he sold it to me. Yeah, he, he sounded like he was right up my street, mm. ex centre back, mm. um, and just how he was. I mean, I I went and had a look round, but my mind was made up as soon as I had that phone call. Um, no, I was I was to answer the question. I was very, um, I'm very vocal. I'm very out there, and I and mm. I. And I, I'll have my own conversations. I don't have, I need my agent or anyone to have a conversation. If I've got something to ask, I'll ask it. Yeah. Um, but no, it just everything went smoothly. It was all just. Did you, was you just, ever anywhere near an England call up? Because at that yeah, time, yeah, I had four four England call ups. Did you? Um, well, whilst being at Birmingham, yeah. Spoke to, spoke to Capello. Stephen Gill, thanks for Roger for the memories. I don't know why some blue nose just were disrespectful to you. You were a legend in my eyes. Yeah, me too. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Every single player on that day at Wembley to me is a legend. You know that that won that trophy for us on that day. Oh, I feel as though they should be. Yeah, um, absolutely right. But I mean, you look at guards. Like just going yeah. back to that Villa thing with yeah. uh, with uh, Alex going and jumping ship, and then guards has been there mm. gone there and come back again and now he's part of the staff so mm. it's know, one it's of them just, isn't it it's just one of them <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah yeah so you had four, four England call ups from yeah. Capella yeah yeah, yeah. Did spoke, you four squads him. well I got to the 30 man squad and then it sounds bad I was praying for an injury of, of somebody and I'm obviously my I was oh, yeah. going to get up against your Rios and yeah. your John Terry's and that yeah um, and it never came unfortunately but mm. no I've, I've, I've still got the emails from uh, Julia uh, uh, she sends them out. Which which players have been selected? Yeah. Um, me and Fozzie were the were the two that were yeah. getting the call ups at the time, and, yeah. and and I got a phone call from Capello, and he said to me, "Look, just keep doing what you're doing." Yeah. Um, and that's all I could do really. I, mm. I was just waiting for someone just to give me a. Just to give you, yeah. Just get me in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget, people. All you've got to do is share this on your personal Facebook page tonight <clears> to win the chance with uh, for a prize next week. And can we do the shares competition now? Are we ready? This, I want people to share the stream tonight yeah. for the forest tickets. These That's are for forest, forest tickets, yeah. Yep. Forest so I'll draw tickets. tomorrow. Share the stream on your personal Facebook page now. Or retweet. Or what, sorry? Retweet if you're on Twitter. Or retweet if you're on Twitter, of course, yeah. yeah. And um, uh, you'll be in a chance to win how many tickets? Two tickets. Two tickets forest. to the Forest game on Saturday. There you go. There you go. We've got some more tickets to give away, haven't we, mate? Uh, yeah, we're going to give the yeah uh, for the groups to uh, we're going to draw a group, okay. and then it's up to them what they do, what competition, and so forth. Should we draw the competition now? Because it's already twenty past eight. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, I needed two tickets the other day for the game, and I couldn't get them. First, first, can we do last week's share? Last week's shares. Yes, we'll please. Do two, we'll draw two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, missed, I forgot last week. No problem. It? Okay. Uh, go on, Vinod. Pick two out. Two. Yeah, two. Yeah. There's one. There's number one, and the first winner is 
Lee Malin. Lee Malin. Lee Malin. Hey. There you go. There go. Very good stuff. And the second one is. One. Yep. Top. The second one is Craig Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Can't Courtney and Lee Malin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Now, if you are already a season ticket holder and you can't use those tickets, do let us know. We can. Uh, do no, no, that's not for the before. tickets. That's not for the tickets. That's for last week's share. No, that's week, last week's shares. My, yeah. my apologies. Do share the stream tonight. Yeah. Okay. So the shares tonight then are for the yeah for the tickets. But again, if you are a season ticket holder or you, or you can't use them, let us know in plenty of time, and then we can do some other kind of competitions throughout the course of the week. Um, just to go back to last week in the Coventry City game, absolutely nobody out of the 20 that we wrote down got the score prediction correct, nil-nil. Um, uh, somebody did. Mm, they may have done, but it wasn't one of the ones that we wrote down. Yeah, yeah oh, Coventry, one one two one one two two. one no, 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 definitely not, definitely not. Uh, okay, so predictions for Forest then, please. Uh, let's get back to the page. <laughs> It's a tough game, isn't it? Mm. They're a good side. Yeah, they've gone on a little run of, of late, haven't they? <coughs> Roger. Mm. You going with me first? Yeah, going with you first. <laughs> mm. I'm either going one one or two two. I'm going to go one one. One one. This is at home, of course. Three two to us. Chris, I think it'll be a few goals. Two nil. Two nil. I'm going to go yeah, I can't see us winning this one 1-2 one, oh I know it's gone straight in there hasn't it gone straight in uh, Paul if you could read another 10 or 15 out very quickly then we'll right Lindsay Phillips 3-1 Blues Lindsay 3-1 it's hard not to vote with your heart though isn't it you, you know what I mean yeah, you your, yeah. if you're in a bookies then you mind you, you, you vote with your head <laughs> have you seen how good I'm not doing it Super 6 <laughs> 3-1 Forest from Pete Taylor Pete Taylor 2-1 uh, Blues one, from George three, Tasker 2-1 <laughs> Linda's in there with a 6-0 <laughs> we've got a thing going if uh, we win a game uh, if we, is it just six. if we score 6 we score six so if Blue scores 6 in a game this season he's promised to do the show naked ok what and sit this side no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no that is not what we <laughs> right fire away go so if we're 5 doing up with a couple of minutes to go I'll be running on the pitch myself to stop it going in the net brilliant Nil two, uh, Kevin French. He's put. I'm afraid on the end. Yeah. So yeah, three uh, one Forest from Stephen Kale. Two yep. one Blues, Linda Magna. Yeah. Um, one one from Shabon Kenny. Shabon Kenny, boom. Um, two one Blues from David Tolly. David Tolly, two one Blues, yeah. 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 Two nil Blues from Graham Brown. How many you got now? Graham Brown, two nil. Go on, five or six. Yeah, one three to uh, Forrest uh, from Stephen Gill. Stephen Gill. One three to Forrest again from Ray Price. Ray Price. Adam Wilkes two two. Adam Wilkes two two. Kevin Kelly one three. Kevin Kelly one three. Craig Courtney one nil. Craig Courtney one nil. Two more. Um, Nicholas Wellsbury two one to us. Two one. And Jimmy Morgan two two. Jimmy Morgan, that's it. Yeah. 2-2 two, two. alright that's yep. it for this week's collection then we'll find out who does one out of that one okay. I hope I'm wrong I hope I'm wrong of course yeah. I hope I'm wrong cake? I hope I'm wrong sorry cake? I haven't tasted the cake I'm waiting for my other cup of tea <laughs> <laughs> you've had one <laughs> <laughs> two on the same show it's never been known <laughs> dear me dear me okay thanks for that lot then cake are you going to try a bit of cake? Not yet, no. I'm not going to try some. We'll try some. It's homemade. It's it is yeah. absolutely lovely. It's got blueberries in as well. Isn't it? I'm not a man. Blueberries, yeah. yeah. Lemon and blueberry. Lemon and, lemon and lime, I thought you said. Blueberries? Oh. No, no. no. Mm. Lemon and lime, I'm, I'm not nice too cake. keen on the old cakes. I'm not. No? I'm a starter man. I'm a big cake eater. Never dessert. Never dessert? No. This is a cheese board. Okay. Oh, yeah, proper. Yeah. Verdict, verdict, go, bro. It's what my seven year old grandson Yeah, good. Christmas last year. That block of still then. Mm. Seven years old. Block of still then. Yeah, I'm He's a big lad. cheese fan, mate. I don't need that. No. Like I said, not into cakes. We've got the alphabet. Can we, we just do. Oh, I want to get this. Um, no, this is, can we do the draw for the uh, the groups? Yeah. This is for tickets now, isn't it? This is for, this for is, them. This we is do for something them called Alphabetty Blues. You've got all the letters of the alphabet in there, or we did have. All right. We'll do that one in a second. We, 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 this this guy's and girls is for every um, wonderful people that uh, admins on the Facebook pages, yeah. um, of which we're allowed to go on every single Monday. And we do thank you for that. We do remember you as well. And these two tickets are for your group to give away within your group, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. Start okay. On. Okay. 
so Who that left? we don't. Be, like, oh, and Boyle Sports sponsor us and they give us some free tickets. So we're, okay. like, we're sharing them out, you know what I mean? Okay. So there's, about, there's about six, seven groups left, so there we go. <coughs> no problem. Who's reading it? What have we got here? BCFC Fans Forum. BCFC Fans Forum. Get in touch with Chris Brown and he'll get those two tickets up to you. You can then put them on your group and do what you wish with them. Very good. I've just had a little thought here. I've just finally, I'm not on Twitter, I'm not on Facebook. Instagram is the only one yeah. and I've had a private one for years I've literally just bit the bullet and opened up a open one so I'm going to plug it here and see how many yeah, follows, follows you can get me yeah go, go on yeah 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 if you want to Jot it down on the okay. on the thing. Oh, don't worry, but you'll have a bad twenty-four days. See, see how many you can get me before the end of the show. Go on then. What is it? What is it, it is uh, Roger, all lowercase. Dot Johnson. Yeah. With two N's on Johnson. J O H. J O H N S O N. N S two N's S O N. No, 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 no. No, ends on the end. Oh, at the ends at the end. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Roger Dot Johnson with two N's on the end. There, there you go. go. I'll get that I'm on 192 there. now. Let's see how many we get. Followers on, is this just on Instagram? Yeah. This is just I don't Insta, have it yeah. personally, so uh, sorry. Yeah, see, I, I, I don't trust myself on Twitter. I've been <laughs> told because I've started doing a bit of media now. And they say, yeah. oh, I'll get on Twitter. I just, I just, I think I'd end up arguing with people. <laughs> <laughs> I'd end up arguing. Just, you would. You're right. Mm. <laughs> I'm just doing well clear. I'll go. See how many we can get. So let's get him up. How many you got at the minute? Oh, so I've literally only opened it about two or three weeks. 100, 190, so, was it? 192. 192. See how many we can get by the end of the show. Mm. Uh, that will be exactly 9 o'clock, 26 minutes time. Wow, this show's flying. Isn't it just, isn't it just, I've lost my page now. That's yeah, are you doing against your... Uh... There's not many left either. No, there isn't. We've only got a few letters left in there. Uh, right, did anybody see the uh, the poem on the Talk and Talk page today? Yes, I did, yeah. Poet, yeah. How's it going on? From uh, Siobhan. And uh, so she sent me another one. She sent me another one. I've got my glasses on there because I can't really ask. And it reads like this. Down in the distance, right through the mist, you hear the crowd singing, the beating of the chest. You see the city booming with passion and pride. Brum is born and bred, Saturdays come alive. Families and friends meet for a beer and a chin wag. Laughter is, and happiness is witnessed from all the fans. Birmingham City right up to Tilt and Talk. We've got the blue pumping, blue, we've, got, we've all got blue pumping all round our hearts. I think it should be blood. Yeah. For our city, our club is introduced from birth. St Andrews is our ground. Well, I should say it's a church. It's our place we call home from morning to night. It's been filled with so many memories since 1875. Very good. Very good. Do you know what? I'm going to give you one and a half for that. Oh, go on then. Yeah, she does it, yeah. So that's it, give them away. That will be your hat. Yes, you did another one earlier as well, didn't she? And, uh, she did another one. It's on the Tilton Talk page, but yeah. she sent that one to me this afternoon. I thought, yeah, you know what? Mm. But she put spall and then followed it by ball, yeah. and she was referring to me. Yeah. But I said, <laughs> I said spall and Paul would have gone better. So she changed mm. it from she ball to Paul. It. Yeah. yeah. And it sounds it's written there. Yeah, yeah. Siobhan Kenny, aka Soulful. Oh, there we go. Oh, very soulful. good. Mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, Boo Boys, and that day. Last 15 minutes coming up in about 17 minutes. Yeah, go on. Three word review. Three word review. And the winner is uh, Richard Haler. This is a long uh, one. Our actor friend. Our actor friend. From yeah. Miami. And it simply was. Miami. Really? Queen, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, all around the world, Jakarta, oh. um, Queensland, Australia. Yeah. Gets up at 4 o'clock in the morning to, mm. uh, to put this on. I should have told my dad. He's, yeah. He lives in Kansas. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, he tell him next week then. He would have. Uh, Crew, Gillingham, all over. All over. And Warrington. Warrington, the figure yeah. Warrington, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we must always mention Warrington, I don't know why. Yeah. Okay, uh, and three the winning three review. word was win <laughs> on penalties. Simple. Did you see my three word review? No. No fig rolls. Pardon? No fig rolls. No fig rolls. No fig rolls. <laughs> 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 We've done, done that. We've done that. We've done that. We've done that. Okay, uh, that's the way we've done that. What's in the box? You can ask us a question. Oh, right. Any yeah, question you like. Any question you like about what's in the box. Yes. Um, is it edible? Uh, you'll have to ask him because I haven't. Is it edible? It it's not edible. Right, okay. The only thing that he will answer is yes or no. What's in the box? If you can keep your eye on the show box and, and will, yeah. read them out. Just, just ding and read. Inter interrupt. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, 
Um, Got to say hello to Jordan Evans, who uh, managed to say hello to me in Bar 8. Nice to meet you on Saturday, my good friend. Mm -hmm. Keep listening. He said, loves the show, loves everything about it, loves what we do, uh, the passion and everything that we, we put into it. Uh, and it was great to meet you, my man. And don't forget, this is the only reason we do it. It's for people like you. That's it. It's not for me. It's not about you, and it's not about him. Uh, people are saying they're following you, but can you change that claret and blue shirt? <laughs> <laughs> That's a West Ham one. That's fine. <laughs> quality, 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 quality. Boom. It's a good comeback, to be fair. It is against Aguero. Let's have a look. Uh, um, you won't get it big. He didn't score, did he? No, it's all right. Just... Uh, just that's me in the top oh, right. corner there okay, so cool. right. yeah, I know it looks like Villa but it's not how many did I get yeah. since then I'm now on 218 there you go boom the power Get in of there. social media you didn't score did against you um <laughs> Oh, some player, oh I'm he? sure he would have done <laughs> <laughs> West Ham they're not, never at Birmingham who's your toughest ever opponent uh, toughest player you've ever played against Probably him, yeah. Suarez. Yeah, I didn't mind your jogbers because I, I I like mm. the battle mm. against someone mm. bigger. I just mm. they, they have a tear up, mm. clever ones. Rooney, very the, one of the most underestimated players mm. ever to grace the, the Premier League and got mm. harshly dealt with. I thought mm. um, certainly with England and, and mm. leaving the Premier League, but not we really because he's he's mm. he's up there. Mm. Um, but yeah, probably Aguero, Suarez, mm -hmm. very difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, alphabet E. Yeah, so what we do here, uh, Roger, is we draw out a letter and uh -huh. then we get our viewers to vote for their favourite ever player that's played for us. That surname begins with that letter. Oh, so it's a J then, eh? It's already come. It's already come. Ah, uh, well, who won the J? I'm going to go with that one there. Michael Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good comeback. Good comeback. We have got letter. Ooh, what's that? Oh dear. An H or an I? That's an I. That is an I. We've had a H, so it's nice. You, you, you may draw another one as well, then I think. We'll have to do another one, I can't think of all that. We've only got two left now. That's all right. I'll go for the bigger one. We said it would last time for Christmas. Why? I or Y. y. There you go. An I or a Y. That's, that's a real good one for you, then. That's got to be Z in there, is it? No, it's, I think it's going to Hopefully, it's going to be a V. So we might as well do all three, might we? And it's done then. Yeah, and then we can uh, sort out the. What, what we're going to do is get everybody, and we're, we're going to write all these names down. Yeah. Pick our favourite one. And then pick a favourite team out of them. Oh yeah, Muzzy is it? That is Muzzy, a big. Muzzy is it? Yeah, good shot. Yeah. yeah, nice one. Shouldn't have jumped so in and got I, the others out. Y and V, all three of them. That's the end of Alpha. I, v. Y, and V, and that is the end of Alphabetic yeah, Blues. And then we'll do the big one next week. We'll yeah. Do the big one next week. Uh, don't forget, all you got to do is share, share, share on your personal Facebook stream today and if you want to catch up this show tomorrow you can listen to it on Switch FM 107.5 and DAB all across Birmingham tomorrow night at 8 o'clock is it Chris? Yeah. yeah. Mm. 8 o'clock tomorrow night yeah. Yeah. 107.5 and DAB. First ever football bloggers to go on mainstream radio. In good good. Mm. Can we do Rogers 1 to 11? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. It, yeah. So we've asked Roger can to do, pick can his... Can we do it? Yeah. 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 So we've asked Roger to pick his strongest 11 from the players he played with for us and here it is. So you want me to do it? In yeah, you do it. Yeah, go on. Okay. I'm going with a 4 4 1 1 formation. Uh, Joe Hart and Gold. Do I need to give a bit about them? Why? Yeah, yeah, go on. Just unbelievable. Uh, a bit harsh on Fozzie, but I think Joe was just that, that time he had with us. That just different, class, it? Yeah. different gravy. Yeah. That game of Stokes sticks in my mind when we beat him 1 0. And he was like Superman, wasn't he? Well, I've got to base it on. I mean, we finished ninth that season. Yeah. I mean, he didn't really have a lot to do because I blocked him all. <laughs> but to say when when we needed him, he, he was he was just always there, always yeah. there. I remember mean, remember he pulled off a save from Lampard as well. Yeah, and Lampard went up to him and said, "You, you can't save there." Yeah, yeah, I remember that. No, good goalie, very good goalie. Yeah, um, another one who's been dealt with harshly mm. uh, in my mind. But moving on, Scotty's got to be in there clearly. Mm. Um, shame he got injured that second season, um, but his partner that I put in with him. <clears throat> um, I can't pick myself I got told so uh, Martin Yurinek did came in did a job um, played in the final and obviously we we won that day uh, but no I, I yeah. think he came in and, and did a job he did he had some big big uh, shoes to fill obviously yeah. losing Scotty um, and I think he did I think he'd done done very well mm -hmm. uh, one of the best players I've ever played with Kari at right back 
who's unbelievable you know just an player. animal and to animal think he retired as well yeah. he retired and come out of retirement just a, a lovely guy yeah. but f- full tilt every day um, and I just yeah just uh, what, what a player mm, what great, a player great player so that was a no-brainer um, I've gone with um, Murph David Murphy David at, Murphy uh, left, back. left back uh, a bit too injury prone but when he was playing and obviously I got to train with him mm. um, knowing what what he could do and the games he did play I always felt he was just solid mm-hmm. did his job not brilliant like going forward but we didn't play that way no. our, our full backs never really got on it wasn't, we weren't about that no. um, so Murph for me um, defensively wise solid yeah. got to put me mucker in there Fergie Great player. just what a player yeah. and I said to you earlier perfect for me I, I, I like that one just sat in front of the back two mm-hmm. uh, the two centre backs and um, just what, what a player mm. and good friend he was my roomie um, so probably, speak to him now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we speak. Is he, what's he doing now? Is he still? Is he? Co- he's, well, no, he's been a manager. Manager he? in and out of management yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Um, he was coaching a black ball for a bit, wasn't he? Mm. After he finished playing for him, I think he went back to, uh, to Scotland, Scotland Way, and yeah. Hamilton Ackies or something like that. Mm. Uh, so yeah, he's, he's he's definitely in there. Uh, guards alongside him, more more getting forward. Mm-hmm. Uh, again. Yeah, just. He, he great was, shot he, on him. Yeah, great shot. Yeah. Hell of a striker with a ball. Mm. Uh, Seb Larson um, on the right. Just uh, fantastic player. I should have got more goals from his delivery because mm. his corners, um, his, his, his free kicks, mm. uh, just and he put. He, he was a grafter. He put a shift in. Mm. Uh, didn't mind having it out with you and would be there straight away if, if it was kicking off. Um, so all round, I, I liked Seb. Uh, Faddy, you need a trickster. Mm. Some of the stuff he used to do was was unbelievable in training. Mm. Didn't really get much of a a run in the side, mm. um, but no, Faddy for me, I, I I liked what he was about. Again, he'd have it. He, he was one of yeah. them that would just speak his mind mm. and and just and be, and be right behind you if it was if it was kicking off. And we, and we had a lot like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Bose. The little rat, he's, he's got to be in there. Yeah. Just sniffs out a goal. Yeah. Um, very clever with his runs. Obviously, that we spoke about the final, the mm. timing of his runs, mm. and he got a lot of goals. He did. He got a lot of goals for certainly um, when I was there. Mm-hmm. Um, again, good lad, and would definitely have it yeah. <laughs> if, if, oh, yeah, if it was yeah, going yeah, off. Um, so yeah. yeah, and then Super Kev mm. up front. Uh, Bo, Bo's just in behind Super Kev. Mm. Out and out finisher, oh. Kev. Uh, again, a bit part player, but when he come on, we are and we asked asked of him. He, he always popped yeah. up with a goal Two against Wolves. Yep, vital. Cut, oh. But that was good. That's my team there. Cracking, brilliant Cracking. team. A uh, couple of questions just come in. One here from. Let me see. Stephen Gill. Gill. Ask Roger. Did any foreign clubs come in for you, and who was the best gaffer you played for? Foreign. No. Nope. There's the answer to that. The best gaffer you've nope. for. Gaffer. Oh, so tough. I've had some good ones. It's tough. Really tough. Dave Jones. At Dave, Dave Jones. In, uh, he, that and was we, to the cup final. Yeah. 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 Again, ex centre back. Yeah. I've been lucky, really. Yeah. Uh, John Gorman. I had when I was when I was at Wickham. Mm. Really got the best out of me. What a lovely, lovely guy. He was assistant uh, to England, wasn't he? England as well. Yeah. In '98. Um, oh, tough. It's out of them three. Too hard to pick. That really hard to pick. But Ali, I loved him to the yeah. absolute bits. Again, yeah. centre back to mm. the point. Very like myself. Yeah. Got the best out of me. I think career wise, I've got I've kind of got to go with Alex. Yeah. I'd have to. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. In. Are we doing a who this week? Uh, yeah, give us five minutes. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. Know. Sorry. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Is there any good, uh, any good yeah. pranks that were played during your time at the Blues that you can tell us about? Oh God. Yeah, we had a lot of jokers to be fair. Yeah. But oh, some ones I can't really say. No, no, no. Uh, no. I can't really. Is there any say. That you can say? Oh. Is it that you can't <laughs> say or you can't say on air? Oh no! Would oh yeah. Some of them are a bit too too close. Yeah. To the uh, yeah. The cloth. Yeah. I'd, I'd, guards is a little animal, like. 
Yeah. He's, yeah, horrible. Some of the stuff he used to do. Uh, to be fair, I can tell this one. Um, <laughs> so John, he's still there, John, the masseur. Um, he, we always used to get into him and, and batter him and that. And that, the, the massage room was always like, it was right next door to the, uh, as you come out the dressing room at the training ground. So, um, Guard is in there cutting his toenails and we're like, we're all having a bit of banter and that. And he said to John, he was like, right. And he cut all, every, every 10, all 10 nails. He said, right, if you eat them, I'll give you a bag of sand. Give you a what? Bag of sand. As in a grand? Yeah, no, grand. Oh, right. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So we're like, you've got to do it, John. I'm like, <laughs> lads are there filming and, um, so he's, he's ended up biting a bullet and he's gone, right, go on and I'll do it. So he's it. Craig Gardner's toenails. Oh. Right. So it was all like, oh, and guards like, all right, well done. Bring it in tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. He was buzzing. The following day, guards comes in. He's only got a bag of sand. <laughs> a bag of sand. No money. <laughs> He's bought in a bag of sand. Uh, was, is that Cockney Rhyming slang for a grand then? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I didn't Have you not heard that before? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah so guards has bought <laughs> beach, beach sanding. Brilliant. Oh, oh, brilliant. Yeah. brilliant. Some of them. you we were absolutely, oh, yeah. it was brilliant. It was brilliant. I what, felt. How did he react? Just went bright red. He's not, he wasn't really one of the, no, he was one of the boys, but he, yeah. the, the butt of the joke was always kind of with him. Um, but no, I felt for him. I think we got into guards and just said, look, if I slip my cat 100 quid. Yeah. I'm not sure if he did in the end. I'm sure he must have. Yeah. Um, but mm. no, it was, it was funny. Some of the stuff <laughs> he cut, guards was always very, Brutal with his man. He'd like he'd go to the toilet in people's wash bags and then zip it back up. Oh no! No way! Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Gods. Sort it out, mate. Yeah. Funny though at, at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's not you, I think no, you did exactly. It. Yeah, yeah. He, he knew. Yeah. He knew which ones not to do it to. Do you have um, any played on you? Has anyone brave enough to do that? Or? No, never. Never. <laughs> no. Any embarrassing moments that you can uh, talk about without naming names? Embarrassing moment. That was fairly embarrassing, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, that, to be fair. That one there. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't say some of them. Like filling people's no. lockers. No, no, sure. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't yeah. go too deep on it. Yeah. Uh, Mick Greaves has asked, "Who's your favourite? Who's your football hero of all time?" John Terry. Yeah. 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 Fortunate enough to. He went to, over the road, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. He lost, he lost all my. Unfortunately, I, I just for what he was about. Yeah, great player. As a, and as a Chelsea fan, he, he, he was for me. Mm. Um, what would he be worth today in this market? With yeah, just over 100 million, isn't it? Easy. Yeah, I'm fortunate enough to obviously play against him. Yeah. Um, get we, we we speak now and then. He's done a few things for me. Yeah. That got me Chelsea tickets for me and my brothers. Um, in 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 his yeah in his suite upstairs. Um, yeah. when he was there, so. That's good. Yeah, just as a all-round guy, I just thought, yeah, just and as a player, I, that's 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 what I looked up to. Mm -hmm. Paul Gill, anyone play any pranks on the gaffer? Mm -hmm. Only that you can say again, of course. That, uh, that he's brave, isn't he? You know, I think we used to go and do things. I think I was involved in this. Like you, you'd have seen it before, but you know, when we were bored on away on our hotels on away games, we'd empty the bin. You, know, so you get the little small bins, didn't you? And, yeah. We'd fill it with water and then just, just lean it up against the door and then whack his door. And, and then we'd, we'd all run off and then he'd open it, obviously coming in and just water would <laughs> piss everywhere. Small little yeah. funny ones. Yeah, go for it. He's, he's a great one, Roger, um, uh, from Steve Portman. He says, was there anyone that you didn't get on with at Blues? Yeah, good one, actually. Mm. I think it's a bit harsh if I say it. There, mm. there were certain guys I just my my personality just did not mm. match theirs. Right. Um, mm. I wasn't a huge fan of uh, Alexander Kleb. Mm. Not for me. No. Okay. Um, he was a bit of a disappointment, yeah. wasn't he? Coming as a with all this great reputation, obviously he's such a great player for Arsenal, and obviously we got him from Barcelona, didn't we? That's the thing, yeah, and he just he didn't. No, he just didn't. He didn't didn't work for it while he was at Arsenal. Yeah. But uh, Mike Smith's favourite goal for the Blues. Has to be the West Ham one. I know that the Villa one. If we'd have won, <clears throat> could have been close. Uh, but my good pal of mine, Ginge, scored, didn't he? Uh, and it was one-one. But that was good to, to score against 
Like James Collins? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's one one wasn't it? At one Saint one Andrew. at St Andrews. So that would have been a good one if I'd have got the winner against that lot down the road. Yeah, one nil. That would have been thinking about that lot down the road. Craig Courtney does Roger hate B six as much as we do. That's their postcode. That's that's as much. Yeah, as yeah. I'm I'm not a fan at all. Yeah. Um, and clearly, I still live in the area, so uh, I get a lot of stick. <laughs> I play in the darts league on Tuesday nights, and half of them are Villa fans. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, I. I'd, I'd, I want them to lose every week. I want them to go down. It's, <laughs> you it's, can every week. <laughs> it's that simple. Yeah. <laughs> From a Chelsea fan as well. Brilliant, that is. Love it. Love it. Um, you would have been a bit of a heard something about Savage enjoying nude wrestling from Steve Portman. Before my time. Before his time, time that is. Yeah. Time, I ain't that old, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you ever talk with Tom for a turnout for the uh, FPA? From Ian Connor. Former Players Association. That's from your friend Ian. Somebody else has asked a similar question earlier as well. Well, what was the question, sorry? Uh, did you ever tie up with Tom for a turnout for the FPA? Yeah, so Tom the Russell thing I did at the Ballsy Labour? Yeah. 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 yeah no, I'll no, no, he means to, to, play, to play a game. Did you play yeah, a game? Tom Ross, the, he, runs the, he runs the X-Play. He's, he's talked to me about it. He has yeah. talked to me about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I, I would turn out, 100%. Mm. Uh, Steve Talbot, you're back in mobile books now, Roger. <laughs> Oh, what? what did I do wrong in the first place? <laughs> well, he is, uh, uh, Roger is a blue nose from Craig Courtney. There you go. Uh, yep, I am. Um, I suppose that you know, even though you, you don't play for us, uh, you, you still look at the, the scores every week. And take I do. A, a massive interest in it. Yeah, I do. I, I, I always have a look. It's, it's just a go-to thing. All the clubs I played for. Yeah. Um, but no, it goes. It does go Chelsea, and then it goes Birmingham. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You've been to many games since you've obviously since recently. Or? Do you know I've not? No. Because um, clearly I was still playing, so it was difficult. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I came to the the, uh, the Blackburn game. Yeah. The other week. Yeah. And saw the win, so that was good. Mm-hmm. Nice goal by Crowley, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, some more nice goals. It's going in George Tasker. Go on, Rog. Uh, Graham Brown, good lad, you know it makes sense. Uh, Shane Gaff, Ledge, Roger, with lots of thumbs up. Um, what do you think about Scott Hogan? Good player, yes or no, from Nicholas Wellsbury. We're going to come on to him very quickly anyway. Mm. We're going into the last 15 minutes. We'll do Scott Hogan first, and then the last 15 minutes, and then we'll crack on you. Scott Hogan. You asking me? Yes, yes your thoughts. I think, I think he's improved. He's, he's, well, since he's moved from Brentford, obviously, for whatever reason, it's not worked out for him wherever he's gone. However... He knows Dean well, he knows Colin well from Brentford. Yeah. So he, he could come in and just do a job and form a good partnership with Djukovic. Okay. You know? Do you know much about him? Yeah, I mean, since I've been doing a bit of media work, I, I keep an eye out more. So I, I watch every game anyway, uh, if, if it's on. Mm-hmm. But I've been le- obviously had to learn about everybody now in all leagues. And yeah, I mean, it, he's got the ability, there's no mm-hmm. doubt about that. Who knows? So it's, it's it's so strange football sometimes. You can go somewhere and be mm. and be dreadful, mm. and you'll move a week later and you'll go there and, you, and something something Great, happen something and it just it, it just, just feels right. Yeah. I don't know why that happens, but mm. you've seen it time and time again with with various players, at Danny various Ian, clubs. A good example, isn't it? There you go. It's it's fine. Fine. It's it's fine. Fine. Work, 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 work in the opposite couldn't, couldn't, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't get a kick at Liverpool, yeah. Ings, and now he's flying for Southampton. Yeah, you know, so I, I, I don't know why it happens, but it, it certainly yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, so it could just be that. I certainly think he's better than what we've got in that in that in that number nine position as an out and out centre forward. Yeah, you know, as a as a, the partnership for Djukovic. so he could just come in and it might click for him hopefully. Mm. Fingers uh, crossed. Adam Wilkes wants to know what pub you play your out at Arizona. I play for Boldmere St Michael. Boldmere St Michael. Mm. There you go. You have a one eighty. Of course. Have you really? Yeah. It's one of my lifetime ambitions. Oh, I love it. Right, Thousands. Got two, Thousands of them. got two triple twenties and then the third dart. Into the last fifteen I, minutes we go. And your subject tonight. Your subject tonight is anything to do with football and anything you'll find in a fish and chip shop. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> anything to do with football and anything you'll find in a fish and chip shop. Oh, go. Can I start it? Can I start it? Yeah, go on. Barry Fry up. Barry Fry. Hey. Hey. Barry Fry. <laughs> should have yeah, been thinking about this, shouldn't I? Um, um, what about Lee Scampy? Lee Scampy, yeah. Lee Scampy, yeah. 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 It's just come to my head. Clark Salter. Mm-hmm. Clark Salter. Uh, I want to know, yeah. Um, did, 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 as a player, did you ever get... Um, sorry, that's just... I hate this oh, one. As a player, did you ever get involved much with the uh, chairman at training, i.e. did they come down and tell players and management what to do, uh, like we believe what Ren does now? No, I'll tell you who did poke his nose in too much, that Panu. Peter Panu? Yeah. Yeah. 
far too much. We invited him yeah. on the show to come and answer some questions from supporters, but he refused. He wasn't for me either. If no. you're talking about people, I'd, I just uh, don't know something about word. him. Slight. He, he will now always be known the P word. Yeah, I wasn't a fan <laughs> of him. I just thought he was probably one of the main things that made the club go the way it went. Mm. Um, mm. Shame. Never, never really saw much of Carson. Um, mm. No. He was he floated around and always had a smile on his face, but mm. okay. They're coming in, Jerry Gill. Yeah, Gill. Yeah, good one. All right, okay. um, Maradona's hand of cod. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark Barnett Savaloy. Oh, Robbie Savaloy. Mm. Uh, Pepper Clotet. Yeah. Ivan Tony Hope. Oh, that's what I was thinking about. Trying to think now. Oh, yeah. I should have been thinking about this. Uh, Vinnie Good Jones. Vinnie Good Jones, I like that one. That's Vinnie Good Jones. Yeah, like so, that. Lionel Mushy. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jackie Bandona. <laughs> That'll keep coming. That'll keep coming. Yeah, we've done bad press, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah Dean, Dean and or Roberts. Yeah, well, yeah. I had, a, I had a question about Dean and Roberts because obviously I think Clark sort of cemented his place now. You know, back four as a cent- one of the centre halves, and obviously he went with Dean Saturday, um, and he's not still suspended, is he, for the league? Don't think so. No. So he's available Saturday against Forest. So does he go with in people's opinions? Do they think they'll go with Dean or Roberts next to Clark Salter? Well, let's ask them then. Who can? Mm. On, on once we go, Lucas Duke Chips. <laughs> Any row? You think we say much on Mark Roberts? Roger? No, I'm not. No? No. Uh, Ray's gone for Gary Gillespie. <laughs> That's a good one. I've got to get one before that, the end of the show. I've got to get you one. You don't even have to change uh, that, do Gary you? Gary Monkfish. Gary Monkfish, brilliant. <laughs> Jack Madonna. <laughs> Razor Haddock. Oh, don't mention that man to me. Vile man. Oh, oh, do you know what? I just had that in my head about oh, two right. minutes ago. I thought, does that work? Mm. Danny Rose, Razor as Haddock. in R O E S. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. We've got Lee Scampi. We've already had that one. Um, did it come to you as a surprise? Kerry Goff wants to know. Did it come to you as a surprise when you, the news uh, broke about Young's money laundering? I don't know. Not really. Was it, did, I, was did, it I didn't think it'd be. Character, do you reckon? I mean, like from what you know. <sighs> yeah, yeah, and no. Something was clearly going on. I, it just—it was a weird feel. That trip, that trip to China and uh, Hong Kong and Beijing we had in the pre-season was—I don't know. It was. Great to see that side of the world, but it weren't. I don't know. You could mm. tell something weren't right. Mm. Uh, I was shocked how, how bad it was, mm. um, but it, I, I wasn't surprised at all that something mm. something fishy was going on. Does that sort of stick in your mind as a player? You know, when, when you're thinking you know, it could go down here, it, things could. could it could it did. Out. We had conversations about it. Um, but it's hard, obviously, we had to try and do our job and, and not worry about all that rubbish upstairs. But I mean, for anyone that play, he was Ziggy went on the wage bill. So for them to be paying his wages, something ain't mm. something ain't right. Mm. Very strange. Mm. Uh, my son's a barber. You'll never amass eighty-two million quid. No, never, never. Mm. never. Yes, sir. Uh, we've got a quick who. Oh, go on then. Quick who? Okay, so I'll... who are you? Who are you? Okay. Make a who for this week. Okay, so he was born on the third of September. Uh, 1983, uh, place of birth was West, West Broughton. He was six foot one. Uh, his current team is Crew Alexander. Uh, he played for Bolton, Blues on loan, Derby County, Bristol City, Preston, Rotherham, Accrington, Mansfield, Leighton, and Notts County and Crew. So he had a good career. He's still playing, I'm guessing. I bet that was funny when he's on the pitch and mm. the opposition make a sub and all our fans are going, boo. And the person who gets it every right every week is banned. Uh, Kev Cullen's gone for David Battery. <laughs> That's That's not bad. <laughs> We've got Danny Rose from Lisa Bourne, Mike Smith, Aruna Kona Chips. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Lisa. Codwell from Buzz Tack. Uh, Jack Codwell. Uh, yes, Emily very good. He's Emily he's Kebab instead of Hesky. Hesky Kebab. <laughs> Emil Eskebab. Uh, Salter vinegar with chips. Uh, Temu pucker pie, pucky pie. Yeah. What, what position was that, Giza? That you just said out there in the who? What position? He was right back. Hmm. Born nineteen eighty three. When was you born? Eighty three. All oh, right. Okay. So mm. we didn't say exactly the same age. Mm. Exactly. Uh, we've got Mark Roberts. 
Barrett from Lindsay. It might be Barrett. Yeah. No. Ivan Sun Chips. <laughs> Pete Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Cowell says it's got to be Roberts for him. Better form. Steve Tarbot Roberts yep. in front of Dean on performances this season. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Timu Pukapai, we've had that one. And, uh, Obviously, Dean's right the captain, though, isn't he? So, it'll be interesting to see what he does there. So, so Eamon Collins go for Keith Perchin. Uh, David oh, Batter yeah. from Wayne. Anton Salter is watching. That's my uh, daughter's partner. He's a big Stoke fan. Hello, Anton. I hope Zachary's all right. He's probably in bed by now, little man. <laughs> little man. <laughs> and um, David, David, David Seaman. <laughs> Gotta be careful with that one. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be really careful with that one. 30 I ended up getting. Yeah. I thought there'd be more. Oh, um, Adam Wilkes says something fishy going on. Roger's at your entry. Something fishy going on. <laughs> <laughs> vinegar <laughs> vinegar Samwise. Oh, yeah, like that one. Like that one. I think Paul Stone yeah, Paul Stonedale's just got the who, I think. Has he? Yeah. Oh well done. Yeah. Well and who was who it? Is it? Nicky Hunt. Nicky he Hunt. Nicky Hunt. Nicky Hunt. Nicky Hunt. Yeah, right. good. Well done. Uh, Christian Pye Pedersen, uh, Karim Fry. Yeah. Karim Marap T. Yeah. Mm, very good, very good. Uh, Lindsay says she's an 83 baby too. Good, good. Uh, Stephen Gill's gone for Roberts. John Bass from uh, Mark Barnett. Phil Kebab from Pete Taylor. In the same ways, we've got that one. Paul Scollop, as in Trollop. Uh, Paul Sterndow, yeah, he definitely got that one. Uh, Linda Magnus going Roberts. Um, do, 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 do. Jude Batteringham, yeah, yeah kind of. Maradona. That's a good Maradona. one. Maradona. That's a good Maradona. Maradona. Yeah, that's a good one. Very good. Like Martin Martin G Range R. Oh, don't get that one from Ray. Yeah, G Range R. Oh. It, it might be. Um, it might be uh, cryptic. That one from Ray. It is Twitter, isn't it, the Roger Duck Johnson? Is it, or is it Instagram? Instagram. 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 Yeah. yeah. Roger Doc Johnson. Can you just check them for us, Roger? See how many. Um... I just looked there, 30. I was, it, 30 I was expecting a lot. Yeah, I was expecting a lot more. You, I think you will. Oh, but don't forget, we're going out again tomorrow. Yeah, and of course, around the world, then people, people will catch up with us up all over, all over the world. There you tomorrow, go. So. There's not a lot on there yet, but there's a good few Birmingham ones on there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30. 30. Yeah, oh, another one. So you co are you coaching a, a particular club at the moment then, or are you just getting just the badges bits, and then? No, I do bits and bobs. Um, yeah. I look. I mean, I spoke to guards. I'd like to get in uh, with the academy there, but mm. it's one of the, it's one of them. I'll just have to buy me time. Mm -hmm. um, I've been ticking over back where I've played at Bromley and yeah. uh, Charlton. Yeah. It's just I'd like something a bit more local. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Slapping it down. Uh, yeah. Down the motorway to just put on a session, but. Mm. No, hopefully something will, will come up now. Yeah. I'm not officially retired yet, but... No? So those yeah. books are you still on? No, but I don't play it. No, no, I've got... No, I've not at all. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you'd be tempted if someone put an offer in and said, you know, want to still play or...? Oh, yeah, I probably yeah. would. Yeah. It'd have to work for me, though. Yeah. It's the travelling. Because mm. uh, I, I live here, that's it. Yeah. Um, it won't be moving around no more. No. Um so no, if it works for me, yeah. I mean, I was at Berry all all pre season. I was yeah. absolutely so heartbroken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I did all pre season. Supposed to go in there. Yeah. Because Wilco and Dave Jones were there. Yeah. Um, obviously, I was with them both at Cardiff and Sheffield Wednesday. Mm. And obviously, that happened. I was going in as a player first team coach, which is perfect mm. because I could have sort of filtered out the play and yeah. jumped in with, with, the, with the coaching but yeah. not meant to be unfortunately no that's how okay. they could get back one day Craig Court is going to post that on Twitter you're Roger Johnson with two N's on the end you're going to post okay. that on our, on our Twitter account yeah. so we may be able to pick some more up from there uh, oh it's called a fish and chip range Nick that they're cooked in okay range oh range uh, oh right yes thanks Ray thanks for clearing that one up uh, Gary Salt and Vinegar Chip and Win from Lindsay Phillips that's quite good I like that one I'm an I'm an colleague. Dearly had a bowl of curry. Dearly had a bowl of curry. <laughs> and we got <laughs> hotter sauce from uh, Adam Wilkes. Dearly had a bowl of curry. Brilliant. <laughs> That's <laughs> the word. What's wrong? I can't want to do. You're going to get better than that. Is that worth a hat? Do you think, Mr. Mr. Brown? I think that's oh, worth yeah, a hat. It's worth yeah. a hat. There you go. That's, yeah. that's going to be your hat. Who, who got that one? Uh, that was um, Adam Cooley. Yeah. Cooley. Adam Cooley. Make sure Adam gets that there, Chris. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank yeah. You very good. Can it? Can't be bad. Adam wants to know, would you play for the Moors? Yeah. 
So the Moore's? Yeah, I, I did actually speak mm. to him. I mean, I've had, I've had to step down level wise because I had knee surgery when I was at Charlton. Mm. Not the same uh, anymore. And I don't mind swallowing my ego. I, 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 I play. I started at the bottom when I, when I went up. Mm. I'm happy to go back down. I'm 36, so. Mm. Yeah. It comes to us all. Yeah. yeah, I did speak to Tim Flowers in the summer. Yeah. Uh, they did well last season, and he yeah. said, "Look, I'm going to stick with what I've got." Mm-hmm. I said, "Fair enough, no mm-hmm. problem." Mm-hmm. But no, I, I certainly would. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's been an interesting evening, right? It's been it's been fantastic, hasn't yeah, it? I've really yeah. enjoyed it. And, um, and and again, I can only say thanks for that beautiful memory. Yeah. Well, not, it wasn't just that one; it was the three, all three of them. You can open what's in the tin now. One person got it right. Who was that? Linda, Linda, the old person, Enza. The very old person, Linda. Yeah, she oh, got it right. It's another house. It's another house. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, no, it's great to get you an insight, and um, it's so nice of you to come along. Uh, we yeah. do this for free every week. Yeah. You know, it's 10 years now. 10 seasons. Oh, that's good. No, I've enjoyed it. Thanks and, for having uh, me on. This will go out to a, a worldwide audience, as I say, 322,723 interactions right. last year. Just under a quarter of a million. Very good. For mm. Birmingham City Football Club. You know, no, that's, that's, a bit, that's they're a big, a big, a big club. Year. You shouldn't be surprised. Huge, yeah. huge club. There's, a, there's a lot of people out around the world, you know, that, that absolutely tune into this and love it because mm. it's their only um, kind of uh, opening into what's going on, what's gone on in the week, and something the other. So, yeah, it's great. And like I say, folks, get up. I mean, brother lives in New Zealand. He'll he'll watch it when the time comes yeah. round. Um, uh, Leonard from Australia, Miami, all over. There's yeah. Warrington, mm. as I said earlier, Warrington, mm. even Warrington. Mm. You can get listeners in Warrington, what can I say? Oh, I hope you've enjoyed the talk, talk show. It's nine o'clock. It's been Roger Johnson's night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very so much for coming in. And I no problem. I promise you. Thank you for that man. No problem. To stand there and cry in my free voice. Yeah, that's amazing. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Ladies and gents, Roger Johnson. Thank you. Thank you Mr. Shiny. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, pleasure as always. Where's it going again? It's just fly, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And Mrs. Brown. There we go. <laughs> That's all for the Talk Talk Show this week. Join us back here next Monday. And of course, you can get us back on 107.5 FM tomorrow night and DAB on Switch FM. See you all next week. Take care. Goodbye.